What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're going to tour this newly constructed colonial mansion right behind me. This home was built by Legend Homes and it has incredible details and finishes. So I'm excited to show it to you guys. This property is located on 1708 West Ridge Road. It has six bedrooms, six and a half baths, just under 8,000 square feet of interior space with a current price tag of $10,250,000. And before we get in there, I wanna thank the listing agent, Susan Stark, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Now, let's get started. Starting with the front of the home, we have a gated motor court right here that leads to the front of the home as well as the two-car garage on the other side. On the exterior, we have the timeless white painted brick throughout the property. A lot of shutter details right next to the grid windows. And on the roof, I want to point out the dormer and the cupola details as well. Again, tying in some of those colonial details. And lastly, before we get into the property, we have a beautiful curved glass window right above the entry on the second floor of this house now let's go take a look inside here we are at the grand entry of this property two-story ceilings here love the front door with the side lights and chains and windows above and even on top of the front door we have this beautiful curved glass again bringing natural light in to the entry of this property the entry for this property really sets the tone for the rest of the house i want to start with the checkered design marble floors here looks exquisite and kind of follows through this hallway here paneled walls paneled ceilings throughout and you even get a beautiful chandelier right here again sets the tone for the entry of this home so i want to start this way we have a beautiful half bathroom here we have the wallpaper and this very unique vanity setup first of all i love the design elements of the vanity and this sink right here again bringing some of those traditional quality elements all right Back to the entry, over here, we have a small mudroom. And now let's start with the office for this property. We have the double doors open up to this room, Chevron pattern floors. And this room is front facing, gets a lot of natural light. And we have the built-ins on the each side of the fireplace. Even the fireplace right here is clad with a beautiful marble. So back to the hallway. Let's go to the first room on our right hand side. This is the screening room for this house. We have the automatic shades on the other side. So you still get windows in case you want to open it up. But if you want to close it down, really get the movie theater effect here, you can. We have the linen walls and velvet ceilings here throughout. All right, back to the hallway right here. We have a hallway here leading to the living room and the kitchen of the house. But we're going to take this route right here. Curved hallway here, again, wood details continue throughout. And this is the formal living room of this house. We have the French doors opening up to the backyard. Chevron pattern, oak hardwood floors continue here as well. Crown molding details on the ceiling, beautiful light fixtures. In this case, this is the second gas fireplace. Again, clad beautifully with marble. Overall, sophisticated, formal living room area. Formal living room area, through this opening continues into the living room, family room of this house. Good size, gets a lot of natural light. And on this side, we have these French sliding doors that actually tucks into the wall right here so you can open up your living room to your backyard. These, uh, these stacking doors are a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. I feel like it's always glass or these Fleetwoods. So in order to carry out the design style of the rest of the house, these are actually grid sliding doors, right? and they wanted to keep the ornate finishes throughout. So they probably got this thing custom built just for this house. But again, it still stacks into the wall so you get that indoor outdoor feel. So you get the benefits without compromising the style of the home. Now, this family room has a wet bar, 
seating for three, even the bevel details right here, are all exquisite, beautiful hardware throughout. You get a little sink, built-ins here, and your wine fridge. Overall, a beautiful wet bar that really complements the living room of this house. Now, let's talk about this kitchen. I see a lot of details throughout. I'm already really excited to talk about this kitchen. First of all, I wanna say this kitchen is really well proportioned for a size of home like this. Second of all is that it's obviously a family kitchen or a kitchen that can accommodate a lot of people. When I look at the overall scheme of this kitchen, first detail I like is that how the main outline of the kitchen is white cabinets and then the island has a little bit of a more darker tone. Second thing I see is that on the island, since it's more of a darker cabinetry, they use a lighter color marble on the island, single slab by the way, and on the main outline, since, since they have a lighter cabinets, they have darker countertops. So overall, I thought that contrast was really nice. Starting with the island, obviously we have the bar seating here, some open shelving on this side, beautiful light fixtures right above it. Again, I wanna talk on this. This was a single piece slab. There are no seams in between. I don't even know how they brought this slab here. How did they even carry it? And we have one of the two sinks on the island as well. So when this uh, single slab is getting transported here, do they cut out that outline for the sink or do they put it on and then cut out the, the shape of the sink? They prefabricate everything all the way to these bevels here and they bring it here pretty much all finished, except these are such high-end kitchens that maybe towards the end when everything was cleaned up, they may have came here to polish the marble one more time. That makes sense. So let's start with this side, right? We have the Wolf gas stove, brass pop filler, and your hood vent. This has got to be a custom piece. I love the stainless steel and brass details throughout. It looks exquisite and perfect for this house. And again, going with the traditional lines of the house, we have the white glazed subway tile and the beautiful marble countertops continue here as well. Now, going to this wing of the kitchen, we have the built-in appliances, wolf, and upper cabinets continue here. Again, going with the traditional lines, we see a lot of upper cabinets with beautiful lighting on the inside and LED lighting underneath it. And this side of the kitchen, countertop continues. We have the main farm sink here, brass fixtures. Here's another detail I really like. This kitchen countertop continues. We have about an eight inch backsplash here and it kicks out and it continues. That's where you have your kitchen window with the casements on the each side. And another exquisite detail, I've never seen this before. Backsplash continues here, gets a little bit of a curve and really complements that overall flow of that countertop. I thought that was a really nice touch. And we have the Mealy coffee maker on this side. Before we continue that way, actually Mikey, I'm gonna ask you to go back a little bit so we can show. This is the first dishwasher in this kitchen. And we have the second one right here, seamlessly paneled in. So, kitchen continues here. We have a little bit of a, a breakfast nook area. Two doors here opening up to your backyard. Grid windows bringing natural light into the kitchen. And lastly, we have the paneled freezer and fridge right here. Beautiful Sub-Zero. And even your drawers, bottom drawers are nicely paneled in with these timeless, beautiful brass handles. Overall, an incredible kitchen. Like I said at the beginning, it really complements this house well. Now, that wraps up our tour in the kitchen. There's a hallway off of the kitchen, which has a door access to the outside. And if you go right here, we have the laundry room. Again, continuing with the timeless finishes, cast iron sink, beautiful chrome fixtures, washer and dryer, some upper cabinetry. Back to the hallway, we have a little bit of built-ins here. And lastly, pantry for this kitchen. Overall, again, I'm very impressed with this kitchen. And let us know in the comment section below which detail is your favorite in this kitchen. So we have a hallway here and there's an additional second staircase that leads up to the second floor of this house. Again, first one is at the entry. And as we continue, there's another hallway here. So this is the hallway. If you guys look straight, you can see the movie theater. This hallway goes into the family room and the formal dining room area. But we're gonna get to that in a minute. We're gonna continue this way. And on my right hand side, this is the only bedroom we have on this floor. So this bedroom is the staff quarters or maid's quarters. We have the closet on this side and this bedroom gets a bathroom as well. Man tiles on the floor, nice glazed tile setup. Again, bathroom for this bedroom. And that's it for this bedroom. Now back to the hallway, 
We have a bit of a mudroom area here. And this door right here leads to the two car garage of this house. Again, this car garage opens up to the motor court. We get a side door that has an access to the exterior. Pretty straightforward. Now, back to the hallway. Let me actually hold the door for you guys. Oh, well, thank you. So let's go in this way. We have a dining room bar area here. Pretty much the same cabinetry like the kitchen continues here as well. You get your cast iron sink, upper cabinets. This would be a great place to serve the food because this room is connected to the formal dining room area. Exquisite details throughout. We got the wainscoting, beautiful grid windows. This room is front facing and you even have your amazing chandelier above. I don't want to talk about the classic stuff, but of course you have your built-in speakers, recess lighting throughout. And what better way to complement formal dining room area by having your wine cellar right next to it. Of course, it's temperature controlled. It can store close to 200 bottles. And here's another cool detail. This is the antique brick they use throughout the entire property. On the outside, you guys cannot see it because it's painted white, but on the inside and also in the guest house, they left it exposed. I thought it was a really cool, sophisticated touch. Yeah, I feel like wine rooms are always need a little bit of color too, like that white brick on the in here would, would just kind of clash with uh, the rest of the interior. I agree, and it just, it just complements it really well with the woodwork. That pretty much wraps our tour on the first floor of this house. Now we're back at the entry of this property. Again, staircase leading up to the second floor of this house. And in fact, why don't we go upstairs so we can take a look. So we have the wall sconces like the rest of the entry. And as we come up to the second floor of this house, we can get a better look at that curved window, bringing natural light in and even the chandelier. So now that we're on the second floor landing, we have four bedrooms on this level. We have the master bedroom and another bedroom on this wing. And on the left hand side, we have the junior master and another bedroom. So why don't we go follow this hallway here so we can take a look at those two bedrooms first. Little bit of built-in cabinetry, Bedroom number one. Well, currently this one stays as a kid's room, has a walk-in closet, front facing, with these beautiful casement windows. And this bedroom gets a bathroom, of course. Every single bedroom has its own bathroom. And this house, in this case, cement floor tiles, tub setup. I love the marble surround around the tub. And we have this staggered marble design throughout. And on top, we have this beautiful border detail here. Same light shaker cabinets and vanity designs are throughout. Back to the hallway, we have a laundry closet here for the second floor. And we have a balcony here, blue stones on the floor. Again, this is for the second floor, bedrooms to share. And you can actually get a really close look at the cupola. Let's go back into the house so we can take a look at that second bedroom, which is the junior master on this level. Second bedroom on this level. Like I mentioned before, this is the junior master for this house. Beautiful vaulted ceilings. I see panel wall here and panel ceiling. And I gotta really point out this incredible light fixture here. Uh, looks exquisite. And this bedroom has beautiful French doors opening up to this balcony here. Same blue stone continues here. And overall, this is a perfect place for you to take a look at your backyard space. Again, junior master. Master bedroom actually has even a better balcony. So before we get out of this bedroom, we have the walk-in closet on this side and bathroom for this room. A little bit of a kick out detail here. Again, going with the traditional lines, wainscoting on the walls. And again, this one gets a tub set up with a beautiful marble surround and nice water fixtures. That wraps our tour on the second bedroom back to the hallway. Now we're going all the way to the other side so we can take a look at the bedroom number three. All right, this is where we have the third bedroom. This bedroom is front facing as well. Same crown molding details. Tall molding details are here as well, just like this throughout the house. Again, this one gets the casement windows. And this is where we have the walk-in closet. And of course this one 
has its own bathroom too. Marble floors, same shaker cabinetry, and we have another tub set up here with the marble surround, marble wall tiles with a nice inlay on top. And lastly, we have the exquisite water fixtures here as well. So that wraps our tour for the third bedroom. Now let's talk about the most important bedroom in this house, master bedroom. You know the tone changes because the white plank flooring turns into a chevron pattern as you walk into your master bedroom. Beautiful chandelier in the center of the room. Again, this bedroom, just like the junior master, gets a vaulted ceiling, nicely paneled. Mikey, why don't we start this way? We have a recessed wet bar here. There are two details here I wanna talk about. Number one is this hammered sink. You can actually see the dents throughout and it matches the same color, which is brass, the water fixture here as well. And the second detail I really like are these hardwares right here, which are holding up this glass uh, shelving. Really complements well, even the bar right here looks like a piece of art. And continuing the rest of the bedroom, we have windows on each side of the bed. Of course, we have a king size bed here and French doors on each side of the fireplace opening up to the balcony. And we have the fireplace number three here. I love the mantle with all these woodwork details, nicely clad with this marble and even the hearth of the fireplace has a marble inlay. So now I know the balcony looks tempting. We have beautiful weather outside today, but let's say indoors, let's talk about this master bathroom. Starting here, we have the toilet room. As we walk in, this is the first vanity set up here. Same shaker cabinets, marble countertops. And Mikey, why don't you come close right here? I love the backsplash with this nice curve. Again, it's all about those details. And again, these brass water fixtures look exquisite. Now, following here, we have the marble floors throughout the entire bathroom. Nice inlay tile here with another uh, mosaic design. And we have the freestanding tub. Windows on each side. And I personally love this tub filler right here. Continuing the bathroom. This is the toilet room number two. And you have a bidet actually here as well. And this, this is the second set of vanity here. Same kick out, shaker cabinets, mirrors throughout, gets a makeup area. And of course we have the wall sconces up here as well. This is one of the two closets that this master bathroom has. Before we get in there though, let's talk about this walk-in shower. The entire walk-in shower has been book matched. It's a beautiful Calicotta marble. There are so many details here. First of all, I love this water fixture here. You get your handheld, you get your rain head. This is also a steam shower, as you guys can see. Even the drain detail right here has customized touches. And lastly, Mikey, why don't you drop down a little bit. Just like the rest of the house, the traditional molding details are even in the master walk-in shower, which is incredible. Overall, I'm very impressed with this shower. So let's walk into this closet. Again, this is one of the two master closets. As soon as I walk in, first detail I see is that they use every bit of space they have to maximize this uh, walk-in closet. You get your drawers, your uppers with hangers. And second detail I like is that all the upper cabinets are glass inserted. So if you wanna know what you have up there, you can take a look at it rather than opening up each door and guessing it. Going back into the master shower, this is the second walk-in closet. We have a little bit of the darker tones here, but again, we, you have your shoe rack, hangers, upper cabinets, drawers, everything you would need. So before we finalize our tour on the second floor of this house, why don't we step out to the master balcony? First of all, this balcony also has the same bluestone like the rest of the house. I love bluestone. It's durable, easy to maintain, and it really gives this house an organic pop of color. Second thing I like is that you have your outdoor fireplace. This basically doesn't have a covered roof, but a gazebo here. And you even have your curtains on each side in case you want to bring some privacy to this master balcony. And as I walk around, I have to point this out. I love these copper outdoor light fixtures here. They look exquisite. They really match the overall copper details of the house on the exterior. And coming to the edge on this balcony, you can get a look at your incredible backyard. We have a barbecue area, beautiful pool setup, and even in a guest house and a little bit of a hillside. It's tranquil, it's peaceful. In fact, why don't we go downstairs to the living room area, open up those French slider doors so we can take a look at the backyard.
So we're back on the living room area. Like I mentioned, we have these French slider doors. In fact, let's tuck them into the wall. That's the one side. Let's go to the other side. So now your living room is opened up to your patio space. Same bluestone here as well. Nice trellis design above us. And this section of the patio is pretty much opening up from the formal living room area. And we have an outdoor dining room here. And continuing to the backyard, let's start with the barbecue area, the bar setup for the outside. Same bluestone is also here. Beautiful countertops, bar seating. You get a sink here for the outdoors. Even your built-in barbecue setup is wolf. And talking about attention to detail. We have this antique brick, beautifully contrasting with a white painted brick. And not to mention this custom piece copper with a lion right at the center. Again, it's all about the attention to details. Now, with a little bit of elevation, we have an outdoor fireplace, bit of a seating area as well. And right behind me is the retaining wall that holds the hillside of this property. I honestly love the landscaping here. In fact, the developer spent $250,000 just on the outdoor landscaping alone, which is incredible. Um, and just when you thought it doesn't get any better, it does. This house even has a separate, fully detached guest house. But before we get in there, I wanna briefly talk about the overall scale of the house from the backyard. On the outside, we have the same timeless white painted brick throughout. We see the black grid windows with the shutter details throughout. You can actually see the chimneys for all the fireplaces, which are custom built out of copper. Overall, beautiful, timeless design. Again, a lot of colonial details. So your AstroTurf backyard area continues here. We have your pool set up, glass tile throughout with a nice plaster. This looks so inviting. Not to mention, Mikey, why don't you come close? We gotta talk about this detail. We don't see this quite often. I feel like it's an important quality. They even have the pool cover built in. So press over a button, you roll this, and your pool is covered. How cool is that? So now, let's go this way and talk about this guest house. And I love the vaulted ceilings here. We have the fireplace, living room area, but before I talk about that, let's come this way. We have a bit of a mudroom. This can essentially serve as a pool house as well. Vanity setup, even here, you get a beautiful walk-in shower covered with marble. So now, going back into the guest house, we have the same antique brick exposed also here as your fireplace. And this guest house has its own kitchen. Starting here, you get a small fridge, beautiful farm sink, wolf induction system. I love these things. Bit of a microwave, overall a great size guest house. And that's pretty much it for this house. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or you wanna let us know your thoughts, drop us a comment below. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Lastly, I wanna thank Susan Stark for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. I really like this property. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And we'll see you guys next week.